Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here once again with T1 Baby Bear, I guess, the little bear on her cap. T1 Baby Bear here, with a baby bear in your hand, can you show off your bear? Yeah, here's your bear. She may not be in the bed, here we go, here we go. Oh. She's still sleepy, she's still sleepy. <laughs> She got her nap and she's still sleepy. Alright, so, uh, this is actually a Popper Mono Red Heroics deck. So I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, firstly, the most important card in the deck, the most powerful card at least, for a Crowan Crusader. Now this little heroic, I mean, if you've seen this guy uh, go off in standard, you know what I'm talking about. He's kind of insane. Uh, heroic, you get a 1-1 one, one with haste, so in a way the 1-1 one, one is actually better than he is. Um, on the other hand, we have heroic plus one plus one counter on him. Seder Hoplite is also pretty sweet. He gets out of range of damage based th threats uh, pretty easily actually. Now we have four <laughs> Nyxborn Rollickers. It's a 1-1 one, one for one, or it's a plus one plus one for two, which means it triggers heroic if we need it to be. So it serves double duty in the deck. And next, lastly, this is our last creature, we have four plated geopede. Yeah, I see you over there. I see you bouncing on my leg, covering my face. Oh, here we go. Plated geopede, first strike uh, one one, landfall gives it plus two plus two until end of turn. Uh, but even without the landfall, we can make it big enough uh, with fire breathing style effects. Fire breathing plus first strike is a combo, after all. Oh, I see what you're looking at. Okay, one second. Let me go and get it. Oh, there you go. Something good to drink. Yep, she has her bottle. Oh, there we go. And now, hopefully, a happy baby. Speaking of fire breathing, we have four Crown of Flame, and this is crucial in the deck, not only because obviously it turns on First Strike, but this is a common that you enchant for one, and then you can bounce back to your hand for one. So over and over you can trigger Heroic using the same aura, and then also just use it to swing in if you need. So that's sort of a combo piece, Heroic plus Crown of Flames. Uh, there's also a two mana one that's from somewhere in Time Spiral block, it may actually be Time Spiral that you can use, but it's two mana for the same thing except it has flash. Just not as good. Not as good. Um, next we have Dragon Mantle as a four of. Uh, fire breathing and draw a card when enters, so we'll take it. Absolutely. I only have, to my name, three hammer hands. Otherwise I would play the full four. Just a one drop, plus one, plus one, and haste, and a target creature can't block this turn. So it just does all of it for one mana. Now, uh, that would mean that I would only run two Fear of the Bitten. I have three, I would run two. Plus two plus two, must attack each turn if able. And then lastly, for the auras, so a lot of auras for a red deck, uh, four madcap skills. You know, two mana plus three plus zero oh, and menace. Can't argue with that, I guess. Uh, it's really good, <laughs> obviously. Uh, four Lightning Bolt, goes without saying, of course. Uh, four Lava Darts. It's usually the case that the decks about which we worry, worry the most are the very low-to-the-ground decks, uh, like Infect, for instance, or Tokens, or Delver, stuff like that. And so, one damage seems pretty sweet, seems pretty good. Um, you can also flash it back at the cost of Sacrifice a Mountain, and if you need to, you can also target your own creatures, your own Seder Hoplite or a Crowan Crusader, usually the former, to just trigger Heroic once more. And lastly, for the spells, we have one Reckless Charge, plus three plus zero, oh, and Haste, and Flashback. So later in the game, just get it again for another Heroic trigger, and give it Haste. Um, it doesn't improve the toughness. It does get you in for a lot of damage if they don't have a creature on the other side, though. Um, but often they will, so I only have it as a one of. And then, m lands are very easy. 17 mountains. Uh, strictly speaking, this is the best mountain ever. 
that art. Yeah, um, it's a Georgia O'Keeffe mountain. That's what I like to think of it as. She's like, I don't see it. You won't, not for a while. Now, as for the sideboard, we have two active treason to help us deal with uh, the bigger threats coming out of reanimator, delve, uh, ramp, that sort of thing. Just take control of theirs and use it for the win. Three fury charm because it deals with artifacts, spot removal of artifacts, and it's plus one, plus one, and trample, and I've never even come into a situation where I wanted the remove two time counters uh, part, but I guess it could come up. Maybe. Uh, two mage ring bully for when we just need more creatures in the deck. You can also try, uh, I think it's called Riot Piker. It's the 2 1 first strike goblin that must attack each turn if able. You can try that too. I prefer mage ring. Um, Nice and fine. You trigger prowess fairly often in this deck, uh, although it isn't quite as good with fire breathing, of course. But in any case, the idea is that you want more creatures for removal heavy decks like burn. Uh, three smelt, because artifacts, obviously. And then three spark jolt, because of infect, and other, again, delver, other low to the ground decks. Also gives us a little bit of filtering to scry to get us what we need. And that's it. That's the whole deck. That is every last card. And you're done, honey bunny. You're done. You did really well. I could have sworn I'm missing something, though. Seven. I am missing. I'm missing two cards in the sideboard. What? Di How did that happen? What cards am I missing? Oh, no. Hmm. Uh, obviously, that's meta-dependent, right? A sideboard in general is meta-dependent, but, hmm, what do we, oh, either Red Elemental Blast or Pyroblast. Uh, I think one of those did not see its version be a common on Magic Online, and then the other one did. So, which, you know, of course, if you're playing in paper, it doesn't matter, they're both, most of the time, they're, repre they're basically the same thing. Um, it's very rarely when they're not. Although it does come up and say vintage. Okay. That's it. That's it for now. We'll see you later. <gasps> Can you say bye-bye? No. Can you say boots boots? <laughs> yeah, that's her word. Bye-bye. Not so much. She also responds to SpaghettiO. At least if she's paying attention, she does. <laughs> Looking at the fan. Spaghetti-o! Maybe not now. How about... <gasps> Can you say... Poop? <laughs> now that she's watching. Spaghetti-o! No, maybe not now. That's just not her word right now. I had to try. I had to try. Okay. We'll see you later. <gasps> say bye-bye! I can't reach! No! <gasps> It'll give you a chance to get closer anyway. Bye-bye! <laughs>